Penguin Highway is a science fiction book that was written by Tomihiko Momori. Then, a man named Hiroyasu Ishida went to him and asked if he could make a movie. Momori liked Ishida's passion and said yes. And so we get the film Penguin Highway. And I love it. Penguin Highway starts with penguins randomly appearing around a city where they don't usually live. The protagonist, Aoyama, is super smart for his age, so a lot of the movie is him trying to solve the mystery of the penguins. And a lady generates the penguins from random objects, but Aoyama stays determined to his mission and grounded. This goes in hand with one of the things I love about this movie. Despite the results being super unscientific, Aoyama's process to finding the results is always grounded in science. He comes up with a hypothesis, then runs several experiments while also taking note of variables. It's a film that teaches that even in the most bizarre situations, some logical reasoning and experimentation can help you find a solution. But Penguin Highway is not just a science film, it's also a coming of age story. That lady I mentioned earlier who makes the penguins plays a key role in the story. Aoyama is fascinated by her, both from how she looks and from how she acts. And she helps him along. She plays chess with him in a diner, and she participates in his experiments to find penguins. Aoyama's too young to properly understand how he feels, but I think the relationship eventually evolves into a sort of older sibling dynamic. The film's theme song, Good Night, by the legendary singer Utada Hikaru is about the relationship these two have, and... It still makes me emotional every time I hear it. Aoyama may be a smart kid, but he's also young. He doesn't properly understand why his emotions act the way they do, or exactly how the world works. But aside from all the signs, Aoyama is able to grow older, both literally and figuratively. Aside from the coming of age and science aspects though, there's still a ton I love about this movie. There's a ton of creativity going on in this story, and the antics of the penguins are always a treat to watch. In the second half of the movie, a huge discovery leads to some fantastic animation for a key object. I won't spoil much, but just know that the river that flows in the town ends up being extremely important. Ishida's previous works often flip between fast-paced movement and slowed-down tranquility, and Penguin Highway knows how to balance these two moods well. In one scene, you might be chasing some cute penguins down a river trying to figure out where they're going, while in another, you might be watching Aoyuma trying to comfort his sister after she realizes that everyone, including our own parents, will eventually wither and pass away from old age. I don't know if you ever had those thoughts, but I remember having that same realization when I was a kid. And my mom let me stay up late watching her play Animal Crossing until I calmed down. Within this super surreal adventure, there's a lot of elements sprinkled in that brought back memories of past moments in my life. Aoyama playing chess with the lady reminds me of when I played Puyo Puyo with someone I look up to. And honestly, I think things like these are why I like the movie so much. Penguin Highway reminded me of someone I miss a lot, and because of that, was able to get emotions out of me I haven't really felt from any other movie. Like I feel about your name, I doubt that everyone will get the same emotional payoff that I did. But I still think you might find something to love. It might not be as good as Spirited Away, or even Millennium Actress, but Penguin Highway is definitely my favorite Japanese animated movie, if not my favorite movie, period. <laughs>